about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi guys, my name is Danielle Delgado. Hi, I'm Tisana Jackson, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Okay, so we have to talk about your film, All Styles. Yes. I'm sure being a professional dancer and ice skater kind of helps prepare for a role like this, right? It did. I mean, the the dancers that I was working with were phenomenal. The choreographer, Chris Scott, um, is amazing. So I hadn't really been dancing as much at that point because I was more focused on acting and music. Mm -hmm. um, but it was so much fun getting back into it and and rehearsing every day and like getting back into the groove of things so it was so it was a lot of fun filming the project and yeah having that background definitely helped a lot <laughs> we have to talk about this cast because you have oh people from 13 reasons why and so you think you can dance mm -hmm. now i've been on the set of so you think you can dance and it is a non-stop party so i imagine this mm -hmm. set was kind of similar it was we were filming on location so we were filming in baton rouge louisiana so like all of us were in a hotel and we were working together. We would always hang out together. There was definitely like every day on set, in between takes, in between setups, during lunch, there was always some sort of like a dance party happening between everyone there. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. And like for me, I would just sit back and watch everything go down and watch, watch them just go at it it's and like the battle. Funniest and, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, they just yeah. dance throughout like oh, the, the, whole time. the whole time. It's so fun to watch. And it's crazy how much energy everyone has at all times. Like we would yes. get back from set late at night, go to dinner and like still hang out at night and like they would be battling in hotel rooms and it was it was a lot of fun. Okay, yeah. You were also a series regular on the show all night. All so night. tell me about your character. Um, Cassie Fulner, she's um an out lesbian. Um so many roller coasters through the show, but I have my two best friends in the show, um, Fig and Deanna, my twin brother, Christian, um, my girlfriend, Alexis. But um, she's definitely one of those people that, like, she's so... What I love about her relationship with Alexis is, like, they're so opposite. Alexis is, like, the popular girl and Instagram and this and that and Cassie's just like the complete opposite so their dynamic together is like it's really cool to see everything um, come together and see them as a couple um, but yeah she's just she's an out lesbian definitely figuring her life out as every 17 18 year old kid is trying to do um, and you just see like their roller coaster like everyone's just through the night living their last hurrah at this grad night party. <laughs> and how has the response been from the LGBTQ community? It's been amazing. Yeah. Um, I am so honored and thankful that I got to represent that community and be a voice for the youth of that community. And, um, but it's been so, it's been actually really cool seeing people respond um, to the fact that there, it is uh, two African American lesbians because for me personally I don't think I've ever seen that on screen mm -hmm. I mean I've seen lesbians I've seen gay couples but I don't think I've ever seen two African-American couple uh, lesbians that are a couple on screen and on top of that for it to be high school students I think it was it's it's a great message and and also the fact that Cassie is so open about being a lesbian and and doesn't hide it she's okay with her sexuality she's you know, she's she's very like she owns it, and mm -hmm. I I think that's a great message, and the response has been great. Let's mm -hmm. let your fans get to know you a little bit better. Tell oh. us tell us something that they may not know about you. Um, I mean, at this point, they <laughs> might, but I'm half Persian and I speak fluent Farsi, so it was, um, it was my first language. I learned Farsi before I learned really? English. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now you have to say something. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you, what, let's see, what should I say? Salam, esaman tisanas, man alon, daram rajabe filman hak mizana. Yeah. I don't know what you said. That sounds pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, hi, my name is Tisana, and I'm talking about my, my movie right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It sounds so much prettier in that language. <laughs> You've done so many great projects, but at the end of the day, what do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Um, wow, that is a very loaded question. I don't know, like, remember me for me. 
for my personality. I would love to, um, I want to be a, a voice for the youth and, um, you know, yeah. Just every project I do, I put 100% of myself into. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys all love the projects and there's hopefully many more to come. And um, yeah. Yeah, I look forward to seeing your future projects. Thank you. I look forward to everyone seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yes, and thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. life love and pop pop culture if you enjoyed my interview subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every wednesday